Now, Carpenter is the thing is one of your favorite movies, right? Yes, it was. It is. It was. It is. Yeah. Um, how like intimidating and exciting was it to get the you know direct a prequel it to one of your favorite uh, movies? It was pretty intimidating. <laughs> um, <laughs> because I love the movie so much, yeah, and then, and then and people give you the opportunity to do something with it, and then you think, oh my God, I'm gonna I'm gonna ruin the legacy of the thing. Uh, and at the same time. As a proper fan, I thought if there's anybody who can sort of maybe do justice to it, yeah. I, mean, I give it a, 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 a true shot. Yeah. And um, tell me about like preparing for this and kind of developing the script. How much did you like go back and rewatch the original film? So? Well, we watched, you know, we read the, the short story again. You know, okay. The, the, the John Campbell story and, uh, and watched the Howard Hawks movie. Because in that movie they discovered a spaceship, so it was interesting to watch that. Um, watch John Carpenter endlessly because our movie is about what happened to the Norwegians, you know. Which, you know, in John Carpenter's movie, we, we, we see you know, the, the destruction of what happened there. The pieces of evidence laying around. So that we studied very closely is to see you know, why is that hole in the wall and why is this guy committed suicide and why is this monster outside. So we basically started with that and just sort of as sort of detectives of the crime scene, just sort of yeah, trying to figure out what, yeah, what happened. You know? It's a little bit of like reverse engineering, yeah, yeah. kind of working yes. backwards. Yes. Yeah. And um, tell me about getting to work with like practical effects and animatronics for this, not just doing CGI. What do you think that brought to the film? Um, well, one of my sort of demands was like, I want to do practical. You know? yeah. And I never done a feature, so it was maybe a little naive, you know. Just, uh, but we had all the practical monsters on set, and uh, which is good, you know. For directors, great. You have something really you know running around screaming and you see yeah. actors reacting to it um, we always knew that you know for some parts we would have to enhance the CG um, um, so it was a sort of a crossover between practical effects and, and, and uh, CG yeah. enhancement yeah and like modern and old technology yeah all I mean, some stuff like you know transforming and exploding and stuff that works better in CG yeah, yeah. So, so. And um, tell me, have you uh, seen much or been involved in like the stuff for the um, assimilation at Universal Studios? Do you think it'll kind of live up to the experience of watching well, the movie? Well, I haven't been in there yet. Okay. Uh, I, I'm pretty, uh, pretty much of a chicken for that kind of stuff. <laughs> You're not going to give it a try? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going to. Okay, gonna, okay. Yeah. I'm sort of postponing it a little. Yeah. I hate people jumping at me. Right. And um, are things on track for Army of the Dead? Is that? I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it's, you know, it's, I left it behind and it's still somewhere floating, I don't know, maybe yeah. when this movie does well. Right, yeah, hopefully know. it'll work out that way. Yeah. Um, if all goes well with that, uh, you know, knock on wood, what, um, what do you think it'll bring to the zombie genre that people haven't seen before? Well, I've got to sort of refresh my memory a little yeah. bit. Um, I think it's, it's in the proper tradition of... Uh, it's really vicious, but it's also funny. It's a little bit like uh, the original Dawn of the Dead, you know, mm -hmm. like very, very vicious, but also uh, very funny. But I liked it because it had a sort of a true, true, really nice story inside the sort of you know, crazy mayhem and, and, you know, Las Vegas being run over by zombies and stuff. Yeah. A sort of true, honest story about a father and a, and a daughter, which is sort of like, if you. If you make it funny and it's true, you know, and, and it's scary at the same time, I think that maybe that's, a, that's an interesting uh, setup. Nice. So it's like dark comedy, something you want to work yes, with? Yes, dark horror. comedy, but also true horror. Right. Yeah. And, uh, and, and something genuine as a backstory of two characters. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, last thing I, I want to ask you, um, since you're in the business of scaring people now, um, what scares you, what freaks you out, whether in movies or in real life? <laughs> When I saw Jaws when I was 12, I didn't go on holiday for three years. Was, you know, oh, wow. you know, Holland is near the beach. Right. I wouldn't go near a beach. Oh wow. <laughs> you know, like that was like a really scary movie. Yeah. 